tutorial for Noco HQ. And today's tutorial is going to be very quick, but what I want to show you is I want to give you a few tips and insights into how Google crawls your bubble application. And therefore, I will give you two tips on how to optimize um, certain elements within your bubble application for the Google crawler. And even though these are small tweaks, I would highly recommend uh, to do them because they will heavily impact your SEO and it's best practice to optimize your page so that Google can crawl it the best because what Google does, it just has a crawler and it crawls your web page. And if there are certain elements that are unclear or that Google cannot crawl, which I will go to in a, into in a, in a second, um, then it, it, it doesn't help your SEO. Your page might not be ranked or might not be ranked as well. So definitely, um, I would highly recommend to follow these rules. So the two things we're going to look at is first of all, crawlable data um, and buttons. Okay, let's start off with buttons. Okay. So the main main thing I want to just explain to you here, because I think many people are not aware of that, um, is that if you have a button in bubble, so we have a button here. Um, obviously, this button, let's say it says click me, and we can start a workflow on click. And obviously, we have very many possibilities of what to do, we can sign the user up, we can send an email, all these things, which are great. And um, obviously, we should use them if we want to do that. Um, but we have one action here, which is navigation, go to page, okay, and then destination, whatever index, okay. Now, important thing is that what this button does, it is a button. And when click triggers JavaScript code, to navigate to another page. What does that mean? This means simply that I mean, it works perfectly. But when Google crawls this page, let's say you have an application, you want to rank this page for something, what you usually do, you want to have internal links. So let's say you have a, I don't know, a real estate listing, you have a title here. Uh, and then you have all the information at the bottom, you have these real estate listings might also uh, be interesting. And then you have four buttons, visit real estate listing A, visit the real estate listing B, and so on. Best practice would be to have these as internal links so that Google can crawl and follow them to where they are. Okay. However, these buttons are not recognizable by the Google crawler. Okay. Because it simply triggers JavaScript and Google cannot, um, cannot, uh, yeah, recognize that. So what is the solution for that? Quite simple. It's a bit more work, but again, recommended. What you simply have to do is kind of recreate the style of a button by using um, a group. Okay, so let's try to exactly imitate the style. So let's have the button here. Okay, same size, roughly. Uh, let's take a look at which color that is. So that's this color, let's just copy that, paste that here. You can add a roundness to it. Let's actually do that 10, maybe or that's too much five. Okay, so this already looks quite identical. And then so this is our button here now. Yeah, you can also call that button. What you could also do now if you say, all right, I want to use a lot of buttons in my app, and they should look the same, you can create a new style, and you're going to call that um, button group, for example, okay, so you can always quickly apply that, okay, let's create the style. And then what you want to do is you want to add an actual link. So let's find link, where is link here, you want to add a link into this group, okay, you can then position it accordingly, you can say, all right, um, click me, same thing. And let's make it white as well. Let's center it. And let's also center the text vertically. And voila, looks almost exactly the same. I think the round is a bit different. Yeah, let's make that five. Now it really looks identical, no difference and also no difference in functionality. Difference now is only instead of navigate to page, what you want to do, you can have a link destination, either internal your page, and you can e uh, send parameters to this page. So um, you can say, all right, give me to the countdown page and send some data or an external URL. And obviously, you can also use dynamic data. So no difference in functionality there, you even have a bit more functionality, you can say, all right, um, open this in a new tab or mark it as no follow also very important for Google and so on and so forth. And you can even send um, more parameters, custom parameters using this link. So really, um, almost even more features and same design, same functionality. And let's go into the group here. Um, yeah, make us fixed width. And now let's just quickly preview there because I want to show you how that actually looks. Uh, uh, the difference is in code. Okay. So again, small difference here in the animations on hover. Again, you can change that you can make that uh, exactly identical. Um, 
even though that this is a no code tutorial let's just quickly take a look into the code just to show you if we click here, look here um this is a button okay and has all this information about the styling and so on and says click me okay but google crawls this and says all right it's a button that's it it doesn't it can't click the button it can't go to the navigation page whereas the group let's take a look at that google sees all right so this is a diff which is a group or a box whatever you want to call it and in this group we have an a href which is a link a classic html link and this points to whatever this link is href and google will actually take a look at that and the crawler will click on that link and then crawl this page and so on and so forth so again small thing but very very helpful um, makes quite an impact all right so second quick thing i want to show you and this is just something for you to keep in mind um, there is no direct solution to that but knowing this might help a lot so often what you do in bubble especially if you build kind of um, single page apps you have a state so i have a group here called group a and this group has a state called test and the there's a text within this group displaying this group state and i have two buttons and button one this makes the state to test a and button two makes the state to test b okay now again regarding google what i want to explain to you is that the problem is that when let's say a user clicks tab one and this value is display which is test a the value of test b or the value of tab 2 won't be crawled by google because it won't be loaded until you click this button and again do, google doesn't click this button so let me just quickly um let's, let me just quickly um, demonstrate that to you so right now if we inspect and we look for some value test a no we don't find it anywhere test b no if Google would crawl this page now, Google would never find any of your content here, which is quite bad because maybe that, that's, that's some good content, that's long text, whatever it is, and Google won't find that now. Now we have a state, we click tab one, so we have test A. Now we search for test A. All right, so now it finds this value test A. However, if we search for test B, it's still not found. If we populate this data here, test B and search again okay now it's found but again test A isn't found so what, wanna, what do I want to explain to you by this really simple again if you have data and you definitely want or it's content sorry content if and you definitely want Google to find it and you want to Google to find it on page low because Google won't click these buttons here well then you have to immediately show it you have to make it visible on page load you have to show it um, and don't hide it in a pop-up, don't hide it in custom states. Um, yeah, that's what you have to do. So there is no real solution to that. Obviously, this is a nice design um, solution, but in this case, what you would do, if you want both of them displayed, well, you would have something like, I don't know, a, a title here called data one, and then this would be here, I don't know, test A, um, and then you would have test B, whatever. I think you know what I mean. So test B, and then if we preview that, well, Google would open this page and would see, all right, um, we, have to, we have this thing called test B, we have this thing called test A, both are crawled, both are now included in the search results. Um, and yeah, so just keep that in mind and make decisions um, using this information, because in some cases, obviously, you might wanna still use this tab structure or this custom state structure, but if you have long forms of content, keep in mind, might be really relevant to um, or helpful to, to show this content to Google immediately. So yeah, these were the two things I want to show you. Um, small tips, but really uh, useful um, to improve your SEO and improve um, the SEO for your bubble application. So thanks for watching and see you guys for the next tutorial with NoCoHQ.